If you feel like you've been being called to something higher, to a higher timeline, this is why. It's the energy of October. October is going to set the stage for what's going to happen in 2025. In numerology, October is a universal nine month and 2025 is going to be a universal nine year. So expect to feel a lot of that energy that's going to amp you and take you into your next timeline for 2025. Follow me as we go through the steps of the energetic frequencies that is happening this month is a very powerful month because this is all about the humanitarian and the wise mystic stepping up to their calling hi my name is stacy and this is stacy's ascension academy so if you like information about numerology spiritual development and things of that nature this is the channel for you I'm going to get into four different steps that's going to help you out to propel yourself so you could be prepared for 2025 because October is going to set the stage for 2025 because of the overall nine energy. This is the only nine month we've had all year and it just so happens to be coming towards the end of the month at the end of the last uh, I was about to say trimester, <laughs> like a pregnancy, but it is. We are birthing a new nation at this point because nine is all about humanitarianism. So if you've been feeling that rumbling inside of you, like how can I help humanity in some way? This is why. Let me tell you some of the themes that's going to happen this month. N one, main theme, endings. This is a month of endings, closing out chapters that no longer serve you, things that don't go along your timeline. And that's going to happen on the world stage as well, too. That is why you see a lot of these structures and infrastructures and things that are falling apart. And when I say infrastructure, I don't mean like literally buildings. I mean, the matrix and how it's, you know, kind of um, structured. You have your celebrities that influence people and tell you how to move and tell you how to vote and tell you what to do. Da, 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 da. As you can see, that timeline is crumbling because those are what we call false idols. The idol that you should be worshiping and should be listening to is that inner compass, that inner voice, that inner nudging that's telling you to go in a certain way and do this in a certain direction. So those kind of things are going to start to end because the only people that we need to listen to are people that are trying to help humanity. Now keep it in the same old money regime. It's time for new money to emerge. And, and I'm saying this to you for you, my young entrepreneurs that have been feeling like they want to give back to society in some way. This is why. Because what's ending a lot of is how things used to be, how things used to go. Money was in the hands of people that only cared about making more money for their elites, their 1%. That when you transfer the wealth now, which is where the energy is going, this is a whole new transfer of wealth. We've had nine um, years before, but we're in a 250 year cycle where America is coming to a close. The old chapter of how things were or ending for the new timeline to approach. So you're going to feel that energy a lot in your personal life as well. Meaning, if you have an idea that's going to help and benefit humanity, go ahead and start it. If it's a book, if it's a, 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 a school, I don't know, whatever it is that's been in you, even if it's just like something you say to yourself well i don't know how it helps humanity if you're serving and you're in service because the nine energies about service then go ahead and do it as your time is going to be blessed because god knows the money is going to be better in your hands because you're going to help what humanity more anything that doesn't help humanity is going to have to go so those were the main endings that need to happen within your personal life and then you're going to see happen on the world stage the second theme that's going to be is 2025 2025 is a universal year nine and this is next year is going to be all about humanitarians it's going to be like a lot of ceasefire a lot of we don't want wars a lot of we want peace upon this earth and a lot of the old regime and the way of doing things fed off of crimes against humanity crimes against your autonomy and using it as just like blood sports and those kind of like days are going to be leaving that is no longer what humanity wants that does not help ascend us all to a higher timeline so this is a time for you to really think about what you want to do in 2025 and start making those steps right now in october start making those steps in october so you can start to see the flow within 2025 whatever you're planning to do as long as it's going to be in service and help humanity and help out and i don't mean like being a humanitarian that word gets a little bit you know weird if you think about it technology all of these things that have come about 
that people have invented has helped humanity. Something simple as DoorDash, okay? It helped you guys out. You, now you don't have to go out to go get the food. It could come to you. It helps you somewhere. Chat GPT. Now you guys can write books quicker than you used to write it. All types of things. You can't look at it as taken away from you, but if it helps humanity in some way and you have an idea like that, you need to start to move upon it, start to move on it. You have that idea, somebody needs that knowledge, go ahead and do that. The third theme we're going to talk about is, which is the main theme actually of all of this energy, is humanitarianism. Stamp your feet, put your thumb on this, really try to see how you can benefit humanity. This is the theme for 2025. So in this month, do little things, do little things to help each other out. Maybe your wisdom helps someone out. Go ahead and give it to them. It's free this month. Do little things. Buy a person a cup of coffee on the, uh, uh, the uh, a stranger a cup of coffee or something. Or just do things of how you can help give back this month. It's going to really tap into that energy big time to set the stage for you for 2025. What is that? What is that in your personal life? And going back to the first theme, because the first theme we said is ending. End what doesn't serve you, and it doesn't serve humanity. End that. A lot of you is gossiping. <laughs> the fourth thing you want to do, and the energy is going to be about spiritual knowledge. You guys need to really seek a lot of spiritual knowledge and wisdom. Learn about universal laws. Learn about energy. Learn about the proper mindset. What you think it is what you get. So keep your mindset on achieving things, on knowing there's no limitations to what you want to do and where you want to go. You need to open up that portal within you and the only way to do that is with more wisdom wisdom does not mean you ask the person closest to you for advice and how to do this go seek mentors go seek people out there that have that spiritual knowledge to give to you and get it because wisdom is the new currency wisdom is what's going to make you propel above the rest ignorance keeps you enslaved and wisdom frees you from that frees you from that bondage and it's time for you guys to learn like the rest of the elites now if you want to learn a little bit more and if you are interested in 10x in your business through numerology and learning the numerology energy as well as the law of attraction i have a upcoming master class i'm going to start doing these once a month in order to help you guys but this is obviously it is not a free master class this is a workshop that's going to help you to 10x your business by infusing numerology and the law of attraction in one okay this is a four-week course slash workshop where I will go live with you guys once a week and you also get the course materials each week so you can work on it and then each week we're going to go over it live to really teach you how to 10x your business by using universal energies these are the numbers and things that the elites use and you'll be able to know it too because we are not living in the age of a cult anymore knowledge is king like I said it is all around us for us to tap into and if you want to tap into that to really know when's the best time to launch your next product when is the best time to scale your business when is it the alignment what is your chart and your business chart to see how you can really make some big tremendous moves to help humanity for the 2025 2025 starts a whole new chapter where we are going to go into a time where we end structures that don't no longer serve us so if you have a business that's going to help humanity and you want to help it scale and grow go ahead and sign up for my workshop it's going to be linked in the description i'm also going to pin it in the comment now the deadline for that is going to be october the 7th because it does start october 10th you'll get it for the first week right away but we're going to go over it and go live and interact and really deep dive into how you could combine numerology and the law of attraction to make <coughs> tremendous growth starts on 1010. Yes, 1010. I did that on purpose. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me today. I will see you guys next time. Happy ascending. Remember, this is a month to end stuff that don't serve you. Get the wisdom that you need. How can you serve humanity? And see how you can start your theme for 2025.